Hey guys, I Starcraft here bringing you another commentary on Lost Temple. A little bit of lag there right away, but uh, this is just a match I played this morning on Tuesday. Right now it is 12.31 Wednesday morning or Tuesday night, however you want to look at it. But this is against every time on Lost Temple. And I haven't been playing as much lately just because the new wipe that's about to happen is kind of discouraging, you know. Uh, it's it's expected to happen you know on Thursday or Friday so all these games are kind of in vain I'm really just doing it for you guys to get you some commentary so I hope you enjoy this match want to thank Joshua aka Twiz for his donation and uh, I guess my videos have helped him get to Platinum League so good job Joshua very happy for you and also Charles who wanted to know what my first name is and my first name is Derek actually it's posted on my uh, channel page kind of towards the left so Yes, very white name, but yeah, Derek it is. So there you go. Thanks for that donation, Charles and Joshua. Here we go. Let's see what's going on here. Not doing anything tricky right now. I did scout him with my Overlord, but I'm choosing not to run my Overlord away. What you can do, if you guys didn't know, is when you are scouting this direction with your Overlord, you can actually spot his command center and run away and he won't be able to see your overlord. It'll be just out of the line of sight. So I didn't choose to do that this game uh, just because I was planning a fast expansion. So I needed to get the intel on his racks to see if he was gonna do any kind of reaper rush to prevent this fast expansion. But I saw that he did not do that. So I do put down that fast expansion on 15. How many times can I say fast expansion in one game? But uh, this barracks is going down with this gas. His supply depot was back there. I believe I saw that. No, I didn't see that. So uh, I might have uh, expected this. But I guess I just knew the timing wasn't too soon. He is getting a marine to try to kill this overlord. And I don't see it. I was expecting him to get a tech lab this whole time. Pool going down. But he doesn't get it. And I'm like, wait. He's not getting a tech, la tech lab. He's getting a marine. And so I'm trying to run with my overlord. But... Uh, it's going to be close. I don't know if I'll be able to save this or not against this marine. So if I do lose that, it's going to be very annoying. 100 minerals this early in the game is a big deal. SCV just kind of hanging out. Spawning pool almost done. Hatchery almost done as well. And this overlord is spotting for bunkers behind the minerals and in above the minerals. Overlord maybe going to get away. I'm trying to get to this ledge here, but this marine is just like crazy go happy. I'm going to kill you without even reloading, you know, just like unlimited ammunition. Oh no, it dies. Doesn't look at that. You can even see the blood on the cliff right there. So that's kind of unfortunate. I already lost 100 minerals, but you can see I was kind of preparing for that overlord to die and I already have another one being produced. So I just played it safe and started that overlord. And uh, it didn't slow me down too much as far as production. Yeah, it sucks losing that, that money. But I do have queens coming out with some uh, zerglings as well. Just for scouting purposes and to kind of keep him outside of his base to see what he's doing. But uh, my income right now isn't uh, too good considering I do have this expansion. I'm not even utilizing it at all. No drones on these minerals so far. So factory has been completed for every time. He's going to do the good old factory reactor swap. Uh, pump out two hellions obviously because that's all you can train from the factory with that reactor there's one there's two and he's going to be doing a very quick harass and i think i made a mistake here you'll notice i'm on one gas and i go lair um most zerg players now oh that's my phone sorry about that most zerg players will forego the roach warren because of the nerf of two food you know like hydra demaga uh, machine they don't really even get roaches anymore in zv uh, Zerg vs Terran or Zerg vs Toss and they will just go straight into layer tech and get a Hydra Den no roaches at all But I think I went a little bit too soon against these Hellions It would have been great to have speed links, but I spent my first hundred gas on this layer with a single gas I should have gotten speed first and then just gone a little bit slower Hydras because I didn't need them that soon and Also getting this layer faster is going to have you know create higher demands for me to have um, units instead of or, well, spending my resources on units and upgrades instead of drones and just zerglings. So I'm not going to be able to saturate as soon either. And here we go, blocking my ramp with my queen. So that is very effective. Uh, the reason I have so many queens is for any kind of air that he follows up with. But also just because queens are a great defensive unit. A lot of zerg players are kind of discovering that, you know, why not get more than two queens, even if you don't think you'll need it against for anti-air. So 
I think it's very effective in every game to get a lot of queens. Uh, you know, at least four, I would say. Might be a bit excessive, but I don't know. I think it's a good idea. And that's what I've seen Hydra and Demaga do as well. And you always want to emulate the best player. So, very fast expansion coming in from every time. Uh, already saturating it very well with a decent transfer. Mule going at that main base. Is he making that orbital command? Yes, he is. So he now has two orbital commands. Orbital, orbital commands. Spanning my tumors, but his income's looking very good right now. I believe I am behind in this game at this point. So, uh, I have a bit of a catch-up to do economically. I spent a lot of minerals on Zerglings as well that you saw get toasted. Partially because I didn't have this speed upgrade that I should have gotten before my lair. Three queens just kind of having little butt buddy action here. They kind of remind me of the three sisters from uh, Final Fantasy. Random. And every time going the staple of the Zerg strategy, meta strategy, mass marauders, mass marines. I should expect to see a starport. Yep, there's the starport, and I bet you a million dollars we're going to see some medevacs out of there. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to macro up and deal with this. And marauders are just so good. I mean, hydras, there was actually a post on the forum that hydras aren't cost effective against marauders. And I believe that 100% they cannot one-on-one -on -one a marauder with Stimpak, I believe. Uh, actually, I think it's very close. They might be able to. Don't quote me on that. But they are more expensive, they are higher tech, and they cannot be healed by medevacs. Well, you don't have medevacs to heal them with. So, you know, I still kind of have a beef with how marauders just counter any ground unit, pretty much. It's just kind of ridiculous. So maybe I should have gone for uh, mutas instead, but uh, we'll see if these hydras can do the job. Four queens here. Sorry, Shift, uh, doing a commentary here. Four queens, four hydras, economy is about the same now, but he still does have those mules busting him way ahead. Units, seven hydras against, seven hydras, three lings, five queens against a Thor, so he does have a Thor in the mix. I don't think I did much scouting this game. No, not a whole lot of scouting. I do have my overlord speed, so I am a bit rusty just because of the lack of games I've been playing. Just now getting my evolution chamber. Still not looking too good on my uh, harvester count at my expansion. Looking a little better at my main, but I, I should have gotten this fourth gas up much sooner. You guys probably saw my earlier video when I mentioned that uh, four gas, a lot of the better players get four gas very soon when they are going these Hydra builds. But at least I see this attack coming with my tumor here. See this medevac? He kills it actually. Didn't have time to finish and he is pushing in.